Hello there, everyone, and welcome to episode 16 of the Zookeeper series. Today we are going to be doing quite a few odd jobs. I'm going to get a ton of stuff done in this episode, which I, I guess is kind of like the goal of every episode. But this episode is going to be kind of uh, just a getting things done that I need to get done, because I do. So we are going to start off today with the same net, which this net will give me shrimp and mussels if I dip it in the water. You can see I've already tried one out, but I'm going to need a few more than that. So I'm going to make a couple more than the, of these, and I'm going to use them. Well, duh, I'm obviously going to use them after I sleep, and I'm going to try and get some more mussels and shrimp for the Eastern Stingray exhibit, which I will do a little bit later. All right, there we go. Four nets later, and I have some shrimp. Those can and some mussels. Those are going to go in there. I'm going to pop the rest into this chest in case I need them for anyone else. And I'm going to grab a food barrel out. And now I'm going to get these guys' materials all collected up. All right, so I'm fairly certain this is all the stuff I will need for the exhibit. Now that doesn't look like a lot because it's not. Um, really, I've just got a ton of white concrete in here, and you'll see what kind of the design I want to do for this a little bit later. Um, it's a fairly simple design that I want to do, or at least that I have in mind. So now just time to take this over to Reptile Tunnels and get this build underway. There we go. This is the Eastern Stingray exhibit. So this thing is very white. It's got some blue down in the water there. Um, but for the most part, it's very white and bright, and that's kind of how I wanted it. Because this is the first interactive exhibit that I've had in the zoo. So pretty much how I'm going to do this is first got to put these guys in here. So let's just do that really fast. I only have six right now. I might get more if I find them and put them in here just because I feel like I want a lot in here. But there we go. There's those guys swimming around in here. So they can't get out, as far as I know, nor would they want to get out because they will die because drowning in air. These guys are all tamed up. They look very cool. I really like how they look. Um, and I have the mussels and shrimp back here in their food container. So what my, hello, what my plan for this was is, so these guys, they can come and they can, you can like pet them, um, and obviously you wouldn't want to fall in. I think I'm going to change this a little bit. Hold up, give me a second to change a bit of this out. There we go, that is much better. Okay, so pretty much what I did was I changed out all of these stairs for glass so you could see into the exhibit better from far away. And I changed the floor, which I've forgotten to do before. And so now, they only have one layer, which I don't think they'll want to get out. They're pretty much just kind of swimming along the bottom anyway. But like if one comes over here, like that one, or these guys, you can just pet them right here, or you can like pet them over here, whatever, whatever they want. Really, this isn't, you can't really interact with them in the game, but like imagine that you could. And yeah, so there's the Eastern Stingray exhibit all done. With the Eastern Stingray exhibit all done, that's all the animals. I'm going to quickly just go over this in case anyone is new and didn't see them the first time. So real quick, Eastern Stingrays, which we just did. The Fish Ravine. A lot of guys in there. love the octopus. They're great. Uh, we've got the Indian Garo over here, who is spinning. Likes to spin. Um, over here we have the Hawksbill Sea Turtle, who is also spinning. We have a lot of spinny boys in here. Then we can go up a level, and we come out here, uh, where we have the top section of the fish ravine, which you can also see from the surface. We've got the marine iguana. We've got, I'm going to come back this way and then I'll go back. We have got the box turtles, all four different variants of them. We have got the tree frogs climbing up the wall as they do. We have got the Xenempus frog swimming around all by his lonesome because the other one sadly passed away. Um, up here there's one exit that leads out, and I'm going to actually go this way because there's more. We have got the rattlesnake, 
We have got the coconut crabs who have quite a large exhibit. We have got the gila monsters who are all on top of their rock. We have the anaconda chilling over here. We have got the box turtles. We have got, where are they? There they are, the axolotls, which a uh, new edition in 1.17. Very excited about that one. They are very adorable. We have got the Fiji banded iguanas chilling in here. And the first exhibit that we did in here, the Komodo dragons. And then out here is the official entrance with the snake head, which I will show you kind of like a snake sculpture that you go into the snake's mouth and it says reptile tunnels on it. The tree is blocking it a little bit. I might get rid of some of these leaves. Give me a sec. There we go. Reptile tunnels. No longer being totally blocked by the tree. So there is reptile tunnels all done. Okay, next up on the agenda today is going to be something that I haven't done in a while. And that is... Okay, wait. No, I haven't done this more than once. I've done this once in this series. That's insane, because normally I love doing this and I just constantly do this. But I've only done it once because the last time I did it, it was messed up. Um, but now, <laughs> the difficulty is on hard. So, it shouldn't get messed up. But, in here I've gotten myself some more ender chests and just some stuffs. And I think that I am ready... Wait, do I have any more food? I might want to cook myself more food. Okay, I'm going to cook myself like another stack of food. And then I will be ready. And I still haven't told you guys what I'm doing yet. But I'm going to go end raiding again. And this time my game will not be set to peaceful. So it will actually work. And the reason I'm going end raiding is kind of two reasons. One, armor. I am almost broken on both of these things. So I might want to actually also stick... A few diamonds. I can stick them in here and let's see. Do I have? I can just take this anvil with me. And this anvil, it's a very damaged anvil. Do I think that's gonna last? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, yeah, all of that can come, can stay in there actually. And those things can go in there too. Okay, so that should be all the stuff I need. In case my armor just starts breaking a ton, I can put on. I can uh, use this to repair it a little bit. Um, and yeah, so a little bit more food for me, and I can go. And the reason, the reason, the reason I'm going is because I need more shulker boxes. You can see this is normally filled with about seven shulker boxes, but I am going to start using shulker boxes to store things. Um, you can see they're already in a couple of the chests, but uh, if I can find this one, yeah. So I don't really love having this bulk storage done here. I'd rather just put it all into shulker boxes. So I'm slowly but surely cleaning out chests um, with stone in them to shulker, shulker boxes. Um, and I would like to do that with all the other stuff too because I have too much of it and I do not like the bulk storage. I would rather just put it into a chest into shulker boxes in the chest. So a bit more food being grabbed and then I will head off and I will do some end raiding. Alright, so I have returned from quite a long end raid, and from that end raid, I did get quite a few elytras, which is pretty nice. I got three that are in here right now, um, and the iron gears that I got was all of this. Now, all of this I am going to trash along with this, because quite frankly, I don't need any of it, except for this mending shovel. I'm going to keep that because a mending shovel would be a nice thing to have in case I break a shovel. Now, another thing that I found were all of these. These are pretty much... that is good actually. Hold up. Never mind, I forgot that I had mending on it. Okay, so that I will change out in my ender chest. There we go. I just gotta put these two together. Let's see if I can do that right now actually. No. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um, anyways, uh, so that I am going to be keeping. Um, this I'm going to be keeping. I got a mending shovel. Oh, that's so nice. That's probably what I'm most, one of the things I'm most happy about because, oh my gosh, I have gone through so many shovels. Currently in my dirt chest, I have a broken one sitting here. I have this one that's pretty demolished. I've gone through like another three. 
I go through shovels so fast because they all they all break and I broke my other mending shovel so I'm very happy I will take such good care of this shovel such good care of it so yes uh, I also have mending boots with fire protection on them which is not ideal and I did break my boots while I was out you can see my pants have 12 durability left so I will need to make myself a new pair of pants and fully enchant these boots and see if I can get a uh, normal protection on it or something well yeah I'm gonna try for normal protection on it we'll see if I can get that if not fire protection I'll just upgrade that to fire protection 4 and we'll be good all of this stuff is fairly good stuff that I could upgrade I'm fairly certain that I'm not going to upgrade these right now because I don't need to and these I am just going to use Oh, that's a good shovel. Okay, maybe I'll just stick Unbreaking 3 on this shovel and it'll be good. Oh, wait, I need Silk Touch. I'm fairly certain I have a Silk Touch Unbreaking 3 book. Yeah. But uh, this Fortune 3 Unbreaking 3 shovel, that's pretty good. I'm not going to upgrade it right now. Uh, let's just get these out of here for a second. And I put the boots on. I'm not going to end upgrade any of this stuff currently, but in the future I might, so that is a nice thing to be able to have. And that brings me to the next thing I need to do, uh, which is actually take all of this out of here. Give me a second, put it away over here, just kind of stick it in chests until I organize, because I'm going to do a big organizing thing pretty soon. I'm pretty sure I just put away the good boots, that's fine. Just grab those back out. Yes. Okay, there's all that stuff. Um, now I can take this away and boom. I have, this is 27 plus a, a half, which really doesn't do anything for me. It's kind of sad that I only got one extra. Always a sad time when that happens. Um, I'm going to toss all of this stuff in here and then I will have 28 shulker boxes that are empty. So now I gotta do a little bit more of a grind and I gotta get some levels, I gotta upgrade stuff, I gotta make stuff, and I have got to organize again. Um, because I have quite a lot of stuff that I don't need, that I'm gonna throw away, and that is hard for me, but like, there is no need at all to keep leather armor. This is just very unnecessary. Um, so I'm gonna throw all of that away, and see what in here I want, and what I can keep, and then I will ditch whatever's left. So let's get all of that stuff done. All right, so I think I finished everything I wanna finish. First of all, I enchanted a ton of stuff. I did not put Feather Falling or Silk Touch and Unbreaking 3 on the shovel. Um, I need to do those as well. Um, I just didn't feel like grinding for the last few levels. I'll do that at some point in the near future. Um, definitely the Feather Falling. I cannot survive without Feather Falling for very long. I will probably die from fall damage. But I organized. We have just organization to the biggest level. So this, I have so many shulker boxes. So many. It, it is great. So this is all very nice now. I have sorted out these um, three chests here that are unstackables. Uh, I have my like suits in here, my fur suits. Uh, we don't want to talk about how I get all that. We, that that's not important. But I do have them. And I would like to get all of the sets when I do eventually make the gift shop for the zoo because I think those would be a cool thing to display on armor stands in there as well as I think that's where I'm going to put all the backpacks. Remember this project? That was a while ago where I collected almost every backpack. I'm missing a few, but like, honestly, I've got quite a few of them. So yeah, uh, I think I'm just missing the special ones and like a few of them that I could actually go and get now. Um, because on my many journeys, of course, I have found some ocean monuments, yes. So I could go to them, um, travel to, uh, let's see. There it is. Uh, where is it? Oh, I have to show waypoints. Um, on, on, close, there. Okay, there's one. So I could just travel here, you can, you can even see the the top ring. I could just travel there and uh, raid that thing and grab these sponges out of there. How far is this from my house? Where is my house? 
What did I do? Oh, that's the big desert. Okay, so it's down. It's down and like to the left of my house. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can I can follow a path or follow coordinates probably would be easier and go out there at some point. But yeah, that is all of that done and I have enchanted stuff. I have two shulker boxes left over from all of that, so that is also very nice, as well as all of this extra stuff that I've gotten here. So yeah, all of my armor is also mending, except for my legs now, which is, again, very nice. Um, I might have to go out at some point again for more shulker boxes if I end up getting a ton more materials, but right now, I, I have a pretty solid, solid amount. So there is another thing that I would like to do before this episode ends, and uh, that is this. Um, I, <laughs> you see this beacon, you see the amount of materials that were in the beacon, and that had been, uh, lowered down in stats to a, a tier 2, I mean, uh, just a regular haste beacon instead of a, like a tier, a haste 2 beacon, and that is pretty much because every time I need, like, resources, like, there was, like, probably 20 blocks of um, emerald in that thing, <laughs> and, uh, they, they all slowly started disappearing. Don't have any idea what happened to them. They just, ooh, apples, I do need those. Um, they just slowly started disappearing and going away. Don't, don't know why. Couldn't, could not have been me. They just, magic. But, yeah, that, this is just kind of going to stay like this for right now. So, as you can see on this map, um, I've got this space this space and then this space cleared out so the next thing I gotta do is like I might just put this all up to two blocks fill in this area and then I've got quite a bit of space to work with until I need to uh, take down this mountain or figure out how I'm going to deal with the land right here because this is all kind of like a, an alcove area but then you can see over there in that direction yes there what is my render distance? Oh, why is my render distance so low? Okay, over there, there we go, now this loads in. It goes up quite a few blocks more than I have it down over here. So yeah, that I will be figuring out what to do with at a later point because I'm just, I'm just not doing it right now. It's not going to get done. And there's no need to because I've got so much space still available to me at, uh, less work than taking down an entire mountain, like filling in a little bit will get rid of some of my resources, and taking down a mountain will just give me more, and I don't really need more. So I'm going to fill in that, collect apples, because I need apples for more kibble. Um, and yeah, so th those are the things that are going to happen next. I don't need, I'm not going to do this right now. It's not going to happen. But that was an extremely productive episode. I got so many things done. I don't even, I'm not even going to try to list them all because I will definitely leave something out. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more from this series and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye! hanging fruit.